For more on the situation in Lebanon, we're joined now by Mark Nouveau, former FEMA presidential appointee. Mark, always good to have you on here. Let, let's talk first about the emergency response happening on the ground right now. We know that there were so many buildings destroyed by this blast, uh, partially collapsed in many cases. What, what, what is the rescue effort that is underway right now to try to find survivors in the rubble? Yeah, what a challenge this is to a country that, you know, does not need this type of a disaster given where they're at with regards to COVID, economy, et cetera. What we do know is that the hospitals are overwhelmed. They were overwhelmed to begin with because of COVID-19. Uh, Beirut, in particular, Lebanon, they import all their products and services. And so the challenge has been up to this point, they're only getting 10% of the medical supplies that they're requesting. And so now you add this on top of it. So where they're at and that, that uh, country is limited in its emergency response capabilities. So you're gonna see them start reaching out across multinational countries, organizations, Red Cross, et cetera. In, um, in the United States, they have the Office of Foreign Disaster Assistance, which is part of the U.S. State Department. They can send technical experts, um, USAR teams, et cetera, to try and help them. But that has to be requested by that country. And to this point, there are no okay. requests for that. But certainly there are pledges of, of support from, from many, many countries all around the world. Uh, in terms of the hospital situation, because you touched on it, obviously uh, in Lebanon, they're already dealing with a lot of COVID-19 patients in their hospital. So the, the system is stressed as it is. And now you add this new crisis on top of that. What, what, what is happening in the hospitals there, you think, in, the, in Beirut to, to try to triage uh, some of the injured patients who are coming in, try to figure out who, who needs needs help the most. Yeah, without question. Now let's put this in perspective, Alex. The Oklahoma City, uh, Oklahoma City terrorist attack, the federal building in 1995, it was the same substance that was used in that attack. It's called ammonium nitrate. They used about two and a half tons of it to create tremendous damage, kill 168, 680 people were injured. In this particular case, we're talking about 2,700 tons of ammonium nitrate. And people on ground have said they've never felt or seen an explosion that magnitude. So not only are the hospitals damaged, but they're also over capacity. They're trying to triage. They're treating people from what we understand from reporters on the ground by blankets inside the emergency rooms. Not all people are getting access to the hospital. It's a dire situation. Yeah, it was already a difficult situation with the political turmoil and a, and a poor economic situation to begin with. Uh, and now you have another disaster unfolding in that country, unfortunately. Uh, Mark Nouveau, former FEMA presidential appointee, I really appreciate your insight on the topic. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Have a good night.